Hi guys, me again. So uh, today I'm going to be cooking with you and um, it's Sunday today and I've been meaning to cook this all week but things have just been happening so it, it, um, I didn't have enough time but Sunday today we've been for a lovely walk around the lake and um, I'm going to be cooking a roast dinner as such but um, I'm not going to cook a joint of meat, I am going to make a meatloaf and um, I'm going to show you how I make this meatloaf. Now then, I've just boiled the kettle and this uh, sage and onion stuffing mix was 32p from uh, Asda. So, get the stuff in and on the packet put the stuff in the bowl and on the um, packet it says to add 400 millilitres of boiling water but I'm not going to mix that much because I don't want my meatloaf too soggy so I've got the stuff in, I'm going to add 300 millilitres of water, boiling hot water to it, um, not the 400 because I don't want it too squishy, I don't want it too dry. Now I'm just going to let that soak up the water for a minute and um, while that's soaking I'm going to get my mince out. So there's 450 grams of mince here. It's 5% mince steak. Um, I got this from Best Meats UK when I got my order and I completely forgot about it and I found it in the freezer. So I've defrosted it and I'm gonna use this. Um, now usually I get a higher fat content uh, mince because it's cheaper. I uh, buy the bigger tub and then I usually split it up to like um, 250 grams in each portion so I usually only put 250 grams of mince um, in this recipe but because I've defrosted it all I'm going to um, use it all and I'm just going to put that in with the stuffing mix. Now me and my little boy absolutely love this and every time I tell my dad I make it he's like oh I'm not coming up I'm gonna go and make my own food and um, and then he changes his mind and says okay I'll try a little bit and he absolutely loves it and um, this is just a really really cheap way of making a roast dinner without um, having to buy a drink of meat and spend all that money and this makes loads so I've got um, a loaf tin here um, it's not as big as my other one I've got two pound loaf tin and I've got this one and I'm thinking I might eat, I might use, need to use um, my two pound one because um, I'm using a lot more mints this time now I'm just going to add a bit of seasoning to this. Um, it's got enough like herbs and stuff from the stuffing, um, but I just want to give it a little bit of salt and pepper. And I know it seems I'm using a lot of these, but um, not a lot comes out of them, they're a bit pathetic. So it may seem that I'm using them up, but I'm not actually. And then I just keep on mixing this until it's all combined. Okay, so um, there's not much difference in these tins at all. Um, this one's just a bit deeper because it's a one pound, uh, two pound tin, and I think this is one and a half pound tin. But what I thought I'd do, I might try and do two cook both of them, put one in the freezer for another time just because I'm using a lot more mints than I usually do um, and there we go, that's it all combined you can do it with your hands if you want but it's a bit messy so I do it with a wooden spoon 
So actually, um, there's only going to be enough for one, which is fine. It'll just make one massive one. Um, so what I do is I um, put the tin foil in to stop it sticking. Um, so I can just lift it out, but I also leave it long so I can wrap it over um, because I don't want the um, top of it to burn and I don't want it to dry out too much. There we go. Lovely, so I'm going to put the oven on now and put it on um, and cook it slowly now for a couple of hours. Fold that over. Then about half an hour before we're going to eat, I'm going to pull it out and show you what I do next. And because it's Sunday roast, I'm going to do all these lovely vegetables with it and um, this will just bulk it out a bit more and um, yeah, make it go a little bit further but keep it really cheap. This swede I completely forgot about, it's all shriveled up and everything but I'm going to peel that and uh, roast it anyway okay so this has been in an hour and a quarter now oh, and it's absolutely gorgeous so i'm just going to get my barbecue sauce now and i put my barbecue sauce on the top and this is just um, a smoky and rich barbecue sauce don't like the spicy one Okay, and I'm going to put that back in the oven now. Okay, so here we go. A slight disaster with the meatloaf because um, it's stuck to the tin foil, and it was the end of the tin foil. I knew, knew as I was putting it in the tin that I shouldn't have used it because it was breaking really easy. Anyway, the meatloaf stuck to the um, tin foil and completely wrecked it, but it doesn't matter, it still looks pretty on the plate. So, uh, this is my dad's, uh, this is mine. And this is my son's, and we've got meatloaf, parsnip, sweet potato, leeks, broccoli, and cauliflower cheese. And I don't know which video this probably, which video will come out first. Maybe this one, but I do explain um, on my video that I tend to do quarter plate meat, quarter potatoes or carbs, and half a plate of veg, just because they are a lot cheaper. Fill you up without the calories so thanks for watching and um it's now oh we're having dinner early today because um we didn't we had an early lunch well we had a late breakfast um so it's like a lunch brunch and um so i've done an early dinner today so i've only had to cook twice today yay um yes yeah, so i'm gonna eat this now so thanks for watching take care and see you soon bye